one of the things that I noticed personally is the thing that really landed this inside of me was actually hearing the thought processes inside of my head about myself that I could, I knew were wrong because human design showed me that that was something that was my not self, my, my basic mechanism, my mantra as a child, I'm not good enough. Nobody loves me, particularly in a really bad emotional state, crying under the covers. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. So every time I'd make a mistake in the future, reinforcing that I'm not good enough. I make mistakes because there's something wrong with me. And on the flip side of getting really angry, Venus <laughs> feeling powerless, what I would do is go into rageful control mechanisms and punishment in my head. I didn't necessarily do it out and about until things really hit the fan and then I would just throw a fit and run away. Third line, break the bond. So when you get pretty emotional or upset, whether defined emotionally or not, and you start believing the mind story, if you could go into what does it constantly tell you and research, find where it's coming from in the chart, in the body graph, you will remember that. You won't forget it. This is a way to remember things because we remember based on experiences, based on actual tangible, I've gone through it myself. And now you can relate to that person that you're dealing with or to your own process and heal some of that pain and that wounding. So this is my recommendation is when you find your own not self, embrace the shit out of that thing because it's wonderful to know that about your mind and to not say, oh, there's something wrong with me here because that's just conditioning. It's natural. It's normal. It's the madness of the normal mind. It's not a problem unless you make a decision from here, unless you believe the story for yourself about yourself, which is absolutely, utterly not true. But boy, that wisdom potential that comes through, that when you're helping somebody who's also dealing with that kind of issue and you've overcome that lack of self-esteem and self-worth and you hated yourself before and now you love yourself no matter what freaking mistake you make, what a difference that makes in somebody's life, okay? So when you say, I am thirsty, I'm going to reach down and grab this drink of water. The I that you're thinking with is not what reached down and grabbed the drink of water. It's actually the physiology. The body knows how to navigate this plane. Before you were conditioned, you already did what came naturally to you. And your well-meaning parents tried to help you fit in, homogenize, and be successful on the material plane in the way that they thought would be best for you, which, unless you're really, really lucky, was not true to your genetic potential. Unless you were like Kezia's child not true to your genetic potential. So what neuroscience says about free will is that we're convinced it exists, but new research suggests it might be nothing more than a, a trick the brain plays on itself. Because your Ajna is connected up, I am thirsty actually, hang on. Your Ajna is connected up to the rest of the body. You know, the Ajna, the pituitaries are master glands. And the pituitaries, everything else in the body, there's all these endocrine system glands that are related to each of the centers. It happens so fast that now you think, I am sad. And that thought is up in here. But the sadness is a feeling, a felt sense inside of the body. The body is expressing sadness. But are you really identified, I am sad? Are you sad? I mean, like, am is, is, is sad what you are? No, it's technically the physiology of the body experiencing chemistry, right? So this is something to wrap your brain around a little bit. Remember that that conditioned mind is not you. You, personality, consciousness, soul, essence of spirit, is a passenger on a body that's living its own life process. Ra called us aliens because it's like we've been implanted on top of this genetic vehicle that it's doing its thing, whereas we think we're in charge of what it's doing in its thing. And the more that you try to be in charge with your mind, the more resistance comes up from internal activations that are 
out of integrity with what you are really here to do. So stop resisting the body. Follow that body. When the body starts to go tired, no energy for that, can't focus on that, don't force yourself or berate yourself because you can't. That's the mind judging the body. Even that mind, just talking, to, it, it, it's, a, it's a thought process. It's a construct. It's not reality. Because the reality is the body is. It is what it is. So one of the things, guys, with your brain system, there's um, the limbic brain. There's a reptilian brain, right? At the, at the base of your, your brain stem, there's a limbic brain. This is our mammalian brain that is not very smart. Anytime we get, that's not our neocortex, you know, it's not our, our higher functioning. Anytime we get really emotional, we regress to the limbic brain. Okay, the limbic brain is all about fear. Your fear in the ashna, particularly, all these fears, and then splenic, all these fears for, for survival, and then emotional, all these nervousnesses about the social relational intelligence, you know, with other people. You get into fear mode and you're using your limbic brain. So what can happen to help you get over this not self mind conditioning and just recognize it is shift your perspective. My mind thinks that like Kezia's husband Pontus says, blah, blah, this is blah, blah, blah. But my mind is telling me a story instead of saying, I, I think, cause that's taking ownership of the I. So my mind thinks practice in your writing, your wild mind writing, when I assign it to you, and I'll explain what that is later for those of you that don't know. The, the process of shifting to my mind thinks my body, whatever, is doing, being, my body feels, my body, da 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 okay? Those two separations will help you engage in new experiences with a different kind of level of awareness.